Hey, people. Good morning. Welcome to Turn 9 of the Maryland Campaign. I'm John. Um, it's been two weeks since we played the last turn, and in an intervening time, um, I have not given this any thought whatsoever what to do here, so I'm just going to wing it. So you see the situation. Harper's Ferry has been captured. Um, the Union is in a really good spot here, a really good spot. Let's let's review. Even though Harper's Ferry has been captured by the rebels, um, what's the other situation? Frank, Frank uh, Frederick's about to be taken by the rebels. Not a big deal. Um, Second Corps has the all-important Mount Airy Depot. Um, they're in charge. Uh, strong Union forces are moving in the direction of Frederick. Um, that is to say, what, 12th Corps? Is that 12th Corps right there? Yeah, indeed. And there's 2nd Corps. And there's really nothing uh, standing in the way of them except for Hood, and he's not much of anything. And then we talk about Jackson over here, who's in a world of hurt. And he's got probably this turn to get out of that this situation uh, because six core is coming fast at him not to mention Meade, um and that's more than enough to uh knock the uh, knock those guys out um to put them out of the game um so anyways let's get let's get to it so let's talk about random events to die here we go it's a nine nine ran Union command paralysis again. So let me let me go up here and just put another UCP over here, uh, clone. That is, by the way, this is September twelfth, eighteen sixty-two. Turn nine. Union command paralysis for the fourth time. I wonder if there's a limit to how many UCPs they can get. Um, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. Oh, I stand corrected. There is something that says starting on turn 9, September 12th, the indicated results are converted to union commitment. Okay, so there is no more UCP. Get rid of that. Delete. So who gets committed? Good thing I checked that out. So it's going to be Porter, Moral, 6PA. Let me, let me undo them. Porter, Moral, 6PA. Uh, I think we're going to have to minimize to get there. Porter, Moral, 6PA. Nope. There's 6PA right there. Eliminate. And should be Porter and Moral right there. Okay. They're in business. Okay, there is no more UCP starting with this game turn. Good catch, John, because I had forgotten about that. And let's move right along now to Harper's Ferry phase. No, PA militia phase starting next turn, September 13th. Reinforcement phase. There is no reinforcement. We just took care of it. Leader transfer phase. Okay. Um, yeah. Leader transfer. Uh, we'll do the 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 rebels first. Uh, Jackson isn't going to do anything. What about um? Let's minimize one. What about where's Stewart? Where are you at, Stewart? Stewart. Oh, Stewart's up there. Um, he's he's going to stay where he is. All right, and off to Lee. Yeah, Lee's going to stay where he is now. For the Union, let's go back over here. Is the Union going to do anything in this area right here? Franklin is with, he, yeah, he is going to transfer to, he will transfer to Couch. Okay, good. Um, what about Hooker? Hooker's going to, well, wait a minute. Will Hooker stay where he is? Why doesn't he go to Meade? Hold on a second. Yeah, uh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hooker will go to Meade. He will go to Meade. Uh, Reno, what's your deal? Reno's going to stay where he is, moving down here. 
Uh, Porter will stay with Morell, I think. Yeah, he indeed he will. And then we talk about second core. What is second core going to do? Sedgwick, Sumner. Um, tell you what, Sumner will go to French. And 12th Corps will stay the way they are. And that is going to do it. That's going to do it for um, leader transfer phase. And now we move to, uh, is, there, is it a supply turn? I don't think so. Supply turn is, two, is next turn. Oh, boy. That's not good for the Rebs. Supply. And we go right to action. Okay, so here's the init die roll. Here we go. It's a 3-4, belongs to the Rebs. What do you want to do, Rebs? Yeah, what do you want to do, Rebs? Hold on, where's my cursor? Damn it, damn thing. Um, where is, what do you want to do, Rebs? Well... Hmm. Yeah. I think well, here's what they're going to do. They're going to activate. Okay. We're going to need some EMs here. And here's their movement. Then we'll do the EMs for uh, Hill and J.R. Jones. Here's the movement. One die. And yeah, here's a movement one die. So it's only three movement points. Um, okay, Hill's going to go here. No, wait a minute. He doesn't want to do that because if he does that, he is going to be... Oh, that sucks, dude. One... Two, three. He can't do what he want. What I want him to do. That's going to change the plans because they rolled a shitty one. That's going to change the plans. That's going to change everything. Wow. That is that rolling a one right there in that spot just effed up everything. Ah. Uh. The problem with D.H. Hill is he can't move directly to St. Barnabas as his uh, one hex because if he does, because it's a non-road situation, moving from enemy Zoc to enemy Zoc, that will make him flip. And they don't want him to flip. Um, they're still going to stick with the plan. All right, let's move these guys first. We're... Oh, this is this is horrible. Actually, all right. He's going to move here. He's going to move there with the benefit of the road. He doesn't have to flip. Um, and 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 these two guys are going to move here. Okay, this is the best move in the situation. Now we got to do EMs for all of them. AP Hill, here's your EM. He's fine. Uh, J.R. Jones, here's your EM. He's fine. They lucked out. Um, a nit die roll. Uh, the Union wins this. The Rebs needed to win that. The Rebs needed to win that. Um, okay. They needed to win that. And what they're going to do is they're going to pull Reno out of that situation. Um, yeah, that is bad. Okay, so he's going to activate. He's going to activate this whole core. Fatigue one. And... Rodman's simply going to go here. Reno is going to move 
back to here. Actually, how about we do this? Let's have them roll first or movement. How about that? Uh, they get a three plus one is four. How about, yeah, that's a good idea. All right. Um, Rodman's going to go here. And Reno's going to do this. Two, three, four. And Cox is simply going to move up one. Okay, that's what they're going to do right there. A really good move by them. A knit die roll to die. The Rebs needed that a knit. 2-5. Uh, now they get a knit, and it really, um, it really is a problem. Okay, I'm just going to activate D.H. Hill. That was a really good move by the Union. Um, can activate D.H. Hill. 13. Wow. They are totally, they are totally screwed. The Rebels are totally screwed. They needed that in it. Okay, well, they didn't get that in it, so it's too bad. One, two. Uh, God, that's a killer. That is a killer. That is a killer. All right, we'll activate D.H. Hill to two. Jackson will move to him. And here's the move with just just D.H. Hill, by the way. One die. Okay, he gets a five plus two is... Let me just type this out so I don't forget. Seven movement points. So he's going to go here. That's actually... Wait a minute, if you go from Zoc to Zoc, you got to stop. Am I correct? Uh, seven movement points doesn't get it done. If you go from Zoc to Zoc, you got to stop. Wow, they got they've got them totally totally messed up. Two, three would be five. I don't even know what to do here. Um, what to do with Jackson with seven movement points? He wants to go here, but if he goes right there, he has to stop because it's Zoc to Zoc. He uses all of his movement. Um, if he goes he okay, he'll go here. That's two, and three more is five. He can do a normal attack on a hatch, um, but he's not going to do anything. A knit die roll, two die. And the Union gets it again, again when the Rebels need it. Um, all right, so what they're going to do is they're going to activate 12th PA. Uh, the Rivers are affordable now. They were unfordable last turn. 12th PA fatigue increase, um, two die. And he gets to go seven hexes. One, two, Three, four, five, six. He jumps in there with hatch. Put hatch on top. A knit die roll to die. Okay, the Rebs win it. Jackson's going to do an assault on them. those guys. Fatigue. 
increase. No, you did it wrong. How about an increase? Uh, fatigue, increase. Okay, and by the way, lose that entrenchment. You haven't you've been walking around with an entrenchment. Delete entrenchment. Okay, he's going to do an assault on him. Here's the command roll. One die. And it's a five. It gets to go off. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and put type this up. Assault plus one. Attack plus two. Water minus one. And ratio is going to be a minus one. All because of hatch, uh, the, the P, 12 PA moving over. Ratio is now a minus one. Oh. Oh, are you really want to do this? Do you really want to do this attack? You don't really want to do this attack because now you got to talk about artillery. And you're a negative one. And in movement, combat, a negative one in artillery, which is going to be in rough. Um, it's a roll, okay? If you roll even, it's it's a thing, okay? Hold on a second. This is a stupid attack, by the way. It's already stupid no matter what you roll here. here here's the roll for artillery. It does not apply. Okay, hold on. Combat... It is, it, the rolls even indicate, okay, the, the modifier is not used. So here's what we have. This is what we have on this. This is going to be Rebs plus one. Unless there's anything else. Is there anything else? Let's go through it. Let's go through it. Um, okay, hold on. Uh, flank, no. Artillery, uh, it didn't apply. Defenders, flanks, refuse, no. Assault, action, yes. Ratio, yes. Tactical, yes. Attacks and rain turn, no. All right, so again, this is three up, two down. It's Rebs plus one. Here's the attack. And 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 it's it's going to be an even attack, which is devastating to the Rebels, dude. This is is getting worse by the turn uh, uh okay anyway so he is a 12 and it's a zero it's a 1d it's a 1d and the rebs are in the unions a seven they're a d they don't care um 1d to d 1d to d all right so it's going to be All right, that is, that was a foolish, foolish, foolish attack. <laughs> yeah, five minutes ago, it didn't look like it. Uh, anyways, um, increased fatigue. All right, so these guys, manpower, disorg. They're disorg. Let's disorg his ass back. He was already disorg. Okay, and give them three fatigues. And one more. They don't care. That's They're fine with that. He gets, he's the one who gets hosed. Um, increase fatigue. Increase. No, wait a minute. Manpower. Decrease manpower. Manpower, Disorg, and you just maxed out that. Um, victory points, we go to AOV, you add that up right there, and they've got three fatigues. They are dead in the water, these guys. All right, that was great. That was great. Actually, it wasn't. A nit die roll to die. And it's 4-1. Union's going to move in for the kill. They're going to activate six core. Do it. Do it. One die movement. They get a six. It's seven movement points. Let's do. All right. Let's do. Let's do EMs for couch. He actually flips. Okay. Manpower. Um, manpower. Disorg. And one for Slocum. 
he's all right. Good thing, because he would have lost guys. Uh, all right, they get seven movement points. Okay, how about that? Franklin will transfer to Smith. Okay, here we go. Bring it in. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here comes Couch. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that. They're moving in on them. Um, okay, and the die roll to die. Uh, four, one belongs to the Union. Now, Hooker, has he moved, which was good. Um, he controls Reed and, and Ricketts for right now. We're going to activate them. Fatigue. Increase fatigue. One die. It's going to be five. And Hooker moves to Ricketts. Does he? No, he stays with Meade. And he'll move first. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and Ricketts will just simply move under Hooker for two movement points. Okay, that's it. No need to, no need to overdo it. Uh, and it die roll today. Uh, five two belongs to the Union. All right, let's. I want to get another cab up there. Hold on, let's let's widen out a little bit. Let's move six U.S. one time. All right, today he's going to get to go four. One, two, three, four. That's it for him. And a die roll. Belongs to the Union as well. All right, let's move these guys that just, or actually, yeah, let's move the, Let's move 6PA. They just came online. Fatigue, increase, 2 die. Straight north. They get to go 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Straight north. And a die roll. 2 die. 1, 2. Belongs to the Rebs. What are you going to do, Rebs, in this situation? Um... I think Mumford, I think Munford's going to move over to Jackson's increase. He's just going to min move his ass to right here. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. He moved from one zone of control to another without a benefit of a road. I don't know if that matters if you have a unit there, if you have a friendly unit there. I think it does. Actually, you know what? He's just going to stay there. Let's cancel his movement. Let's cancel. Let's cancel that activation. Um, Yeah, they're just going to stay there. Let's go over here. Let's do what we got to do over here so we can get the hell out of here. Um, Lee, McClaw, uh, Anderson, fatigue, increase, one die. It's going to be five. One, two, three, four. Uh, do we want to blow out Shenandoah or go right to white? Yeah, let's blow out Shenandoah. Where were we? We went one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're out. We actually got to roll a net. Three, six. It's Lee. Why don't we just go ahead and take uh, Martinsburg right now? Let's do that. Fatigue takes me to two. Movement one. Uh, let's do an assault. Let's do an assault on Martinsburg. Okay, so if he's F two, what is F two? I don't even know. F two is 
Uh, F2. What is F2? Oh, God, I, you know, I don't, I don't even know what F2 is. I know F3 is the maximum. Um, uh, I'm just going to maximize, I'm going to maximize him, dude. I don't even know why, but I'm just going to entrench him all the way. Just at least I know what it is. That's three times. Okay. So let's roll the, let's roll assault command roll. Okay, it goes ahead. So let me type it up. Assault plus one. Tactical plus what? whatever the tactical is on this. Tactical is going to be... It's, it's three. Okay. Um, three, three in... Green. I'm just going to give them three for the artillery. Three, three for the artillery is going to be, what is that, a minus one art? I'm going to call it minus one artillery. And then the assault is in there. And then if they're a nine, I'm a 14. Okay, we're, we're going to go with that. Uh, artillery minus one. What else is there? Ugh. Scary, scary stuff. Uh, flank attack, no. Artillery modifiers, uh, I give them a negative one. Defenders flanks refuse. Assault, yes. Ratio, yes. Tactical. Ratio is nothing. And range turn. Okay, so that's what you're looking at. You're looking at a... It's going to be Rebs plus three. Okay, go ahead and roll it. Okay, so they tack on three. It's the net is going to be Rebs plus six. Um, so let's let's do this. So the those guys are a three in there. They are plus six. They're going to be a one dr for the Union. One d big R, right? Yeah, one dr, and I'm a what a. 14, that's going to be an A. All right, so they just get enough to make this not hurt any. Okay, one DR, so it's going to be Shenandoah. We'll take it out of there. They're going to retreat four to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're going to take a loss. Uh, manpower, disorg. Manpower, Entrenchment gone, manpower, uh, decreased manpower, one guy, and they're going to take and demoralized. <sighs> okay, and let's go to VP and just throw it down. There's another railroad, Shenandoah, PA loss, and the Union, the Rebs are just going to go go in there. They get to advance in the Martinsburg. Okay, so... And that's, we're going to get in a nit die roll right here. It's 6 3 belongs to the Union. So this guy's going to get the hell out of here, Shenandoah. Uh, fatigue increase. He's going to lose his uh, entrenchment, delete entrenchment. He will go right here. That's a min move. Uh, nit, uh, nit die roll. Belongs to the Union Rebs. The Rebs are going to blow up Martinsburg. The, as far as the uh, the depot's concerned, in, uh, increase fatigue. They're going to move out of the way. Uh, probably a railroad station in there as well, but they're blowing this depot. Um, let's get the appropriate marker in there. They'll pick up some points for that. Terrain markers, uh, destroy railroad, not damage. Flip, that gets in there. Destroy depot, it should be. And let's go find out what uh, we got to type in a note. And let's go, I got to figure out what the damage is on that. Oh, oh come on, man. You lost, you dropped the whole damn thing. All right. The Maryland campaign, the depot for the Martinsburg depot is five. Okay. Is there a railroad thing in there? No, there's not a railroad station. So, okay, so they get five points for destroying Martinsburg.
Got to make a note for that. Okay, go to notes. Public. Turn nine. Control C. Control B. Make that turn nine. And put Emberg. That's going to be five victory points. Hit save. Move that. Go to the victory point chart. We are at, what is it, 37 right now? Goes to 42. That's huge. Okay. All right. Good job by them. Um, and the die roll. One three belongs to the Rebs. Um, they're going to move, they're going to, they're actually going to go to four, these guys. They're going to go to four, fatigue, increase, movement, one die. It's, oh, they only have three movement points. Okay, three movement points. Here's their EM. Four plus one is five. They're good. So they get to go three movement points, which is one, and they have two left over, so they can do a they can do a normal attack on this guy. So it's fourteen to one. So it it's basically fourteen to one. Um let's let's add it up. It's 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 thirteen with ratio. Okay, let me just do this. Ratio plus thirteen tactical is plus four so right there and i'm just gonna say water is minus two so what you have right there is it's it's a maxed out attack even with the water for shenandoah because they were down like like uh plus 17 take what so this is a ma maxed out attack let's roll with that so they pick up with one, so I'll just go ahead and, and take them to plus nine. It's two DR, they're dead. Okay, uh, fatigue, uh, delete, that's going to be a Shenandoah death. Let me add that to the track, that's another one of them. Okay, and then these guys get to advance into Opiquan, but they can't blow it. So they're just going to sit right there on fatigue four. Um, and a die roll. Uh, six four belongs to the Union. Okay, Union, what are you going to do? Well, we're going to get back to Jackson and do some damage over there. Um, I mean, you at this point, you the only thing you can do is send a relief force, and that's not going to happen because there is no relief force. You have twelfth and second corps in the way, uh, blocking any potential relief force. Um, those guys are, as a matter of fact, they're going to sit at rest and we're going to let Moral and, and, uh, uh, Porter and Moral head, they're going to come out, they're going to activate. One die. That's only, they get to go two hexes, uh, one hex, or actually two, one, two, and a die roll, two die. Belongs to the Rebs. Don't know what you can do about this Jackson situation. Um, well, here's what you can do. You better start doing... Um, Munford is going to go do a increase fatigue. He's going to do a uh, flanks refused. Yeah, and a die roll to die. But, yeah, and then AP Hill, flanks refused. I think you have to roll. I think they're not going to do it because I think you got to roll an EM. So I don't think they're going to go ahead and do that. 
Um, all right, so let's do something else. Can can Stuart help them with by any chance? Stuart, can you help them? No, I don't want to take you out of the way. I, I don't want to. I want you to stay in front of Second Corps. Do you have any forces that you can you can move? Yeah, let's. We got to move these guys. Um, let's move McClaws. Get your ass going, McClaws. Just go one so you can be fresh next turn. One die. He gets to go three hexes. Man, that's a bummer. Just go here. And then die roll to die. Belongs to the Union. Okay, Union. What are you going to do over here with Jackson? Um... I'm going to move me. Nah, do I? No, I don't want to move me. Why don't we let these guys get fresh? Um, we're going to move Reno's guys. We'll take them to two. Fatigue, increase. Um, this one's going to go. Well, once you roll a die for movement, uh, four. One. Reno, Reno will go with... Actually, we're going to put him there. One. And he'll go here. And this one will go here. Okay. Good. I knit die roll to die. Three, four belongs to the Rebs. Um... We'll move Ricketts and Meade up, even if it flips us. No, I don't want to lose guys. Just move just, just move Meade. Take him to two. He's going to go here. Uh, does he... Here's his EM roll. He, he just rolled a two. Did he just roll a two? Undo that two. Let's roll again. I'm confused. All right, so the, here's his EM. Six, he flipped. So I might have hosed him on that reroll. I don't. I don't even know what I did. Uh, he's gonna go to uh, manpower to soar. All right. It's all right, Hooker. It ain't the end of the world. You guys are in position. You're just gonna get stronger. Let's move him down. All right. So they are. They've got him. They're just going to let their fatigues get hooked up. And a die roll today belongs to the Rebs. What are you going to do, Rebs? I don't think you can do much. Okay, back over to the the Rebs. Um, let's move Dr. Jones. Why don't you not move and be fresh next turn? Okay, uh, this guy Evans. Let's move him. Fatigue. We need him to get going. One die. He gets to go six. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and the die roll to die. Oh, possible end of turn or one to, uh, uh, one or two ends it. That would be good for the Rebs. Here's the end of turn roll. A two does end it. Good. At 38 minutes, it ends this turn. This has to be construed as good for the Rebels. Because they pretty much, at this point, they've done all their movement. And the Union mo moved most of their guys, but not all. So, that is, this is actually a little bit good for the Rebels in a disastrous turn. Because Stewart is just, is just in a vice over there. and He's not long for this world, or this game. All right, let's get back to what we need to do. So we need to forage. Let's do some foraging for the rebels. First, first thing right out of the gate. Um, uh, let me minimize. Let's go to all rebs and do some foraging. Okay, Funk is not out of supply. Uh, Lee is not out of supply. He would not be eligible anyway. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, he's a red. He would not be eligible. Let's 
keep moving here. Who's eligible? So Walker's one guy I didn't get to move, but he's not out of supply. McClaws is not out of supply. DR Jones not out of supply. Where is the other dude? Evans not out of supply. What about Hood in the sub? They're actually are all those guys good? Oh, Stewart. Okay, here you go. Hampton is out of supply. And he is in. And he didn't move, so he might be able to do some. Frederick East. Okay, Hampton is in Frederick East. Let's find a number for that. He didn't move, so Frederick East for the Confederate is 4++. plus plus. So you got to add 2, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Confederate units forged and you can add 2 if Harper's Ferry is under Union control, so it doesn't happen. The number is 4. Um, the Rebs own Harper's Ferry, and he has no fatigue, so he needs a 1, 2, 3, or 4. He does get a four, and he, his out of supply is gone. Um, he loses his OOS, which is massive. Okay, and we have some more guys. Uh, who else is there? Oh, we keep forgetting about my man up here. Uh, Lawton, same deal with him. And he's in Frederick East, and he has no fatigue. He's another guy I didn't get a chance to move. One, two, three, or four, and he loses his OOS. It's a two. He loses his OOS. So that premature end of turn may have worked to the rebel advantage because these guys didn't get a chance to move, a couple of guys, and it's leading to them losing their out of supply, plus the fact that the re the Union does not control Harper's Ferry anymore. Um and then now we go over here to J.R. Jones. Technically, he can do it. He is in Howard County. Let's look at Howard County. Howard County is a four. He needs a one or a two, J.R. Jones. He gets a three. It doesn't happen. Munford. Munford is a, is a one, two, or a three for, J, for Munford. Nope. And then below him is F. Lee. Now he gets a one, two, three, or four. He gets a six. No, it doesn't happen. Okay. So they flipped a couple of guys out of, uh, uh, to, from out of supply to supply. Let's do that. Now, Maryland County control phase. Do they control any Maryland counties? Uh, damn, if I knew that, I would have moved J.R. Jones to Frederick. I should have done that, but I, he, he, I wanted him to be fresh next turn. Okay, no, they do not control any Maryland counties. Okay, I wasn't even given that any thought. Okay, so now we do recovery. Let's do recovery. Okay, so the recovery has gone through. We got to check the union to make sure they recovered. All right, let's go from left to right to check the union. Uh, all right, I've minimized a little bit. Okay, so over here, uh, those guys, white actually recovered. Good. All right, going back over here, Ohio. Ohio, I, I'm thinking Ohio should have picked up a, they should have picked up an entrenchment. Uh, DU Tassie and Ford, I think they're okay. Uh, the, those rebel guys are okay. First, New York. Okay, second core looks like they're picking up a couple of uh, entrenchments. Um, Sykes, he didn't get the move. Okay. Moral, okay, so moral, he definitely needs to lose that fatigue, decrease that fatigue, because I didn't do the, you got to take these not release counters off in a certain way, or they won't recover. 6PA, same deal with him, decrease fatigue, I didn't do that right. A lot of Union guys didn't move to their full potential this turn, which is beneficial to the Rebs. And over here, uh, let's take a look at these guys, good. Good. Up. Oh, definitely not good on uh, sec uh, PA. Why is he? Re oh, that's right. Uh, fatigue decrease, decrease, and 
decrease, and he should pick up an exhausted. Okay. Over here, they've all, they, they, everything's good here with the rebs. Okay, good. Uh, they're completely surrounded. Um, and over here, everything looks to be good. Okay, so that that's it. Um, let's take a look at the... Um, it wasn't the end of the world for the Rebs, but man, there was one, there was one uh, activation that if they would have won, if they would have won initiative, they, they had a, uh, a, a, a small flank on, on whoever the hell it is over there, one of Reno's guide, but they couldn't win the initiative and they would have been out of a jam because right now they're in a massive jam and then the stupid ass attack that knocked D.H. Hill down is just, I don't know what to say about that. That was kind of an attack out of desperation. Um, well, I tell you what, the union um, is, they lost some initiative. They, I mean, let me say that again. The, 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 a recovered union, it looks like they're going to go on the offensive against Jackson's boys over there for sure. Um, they needed to uh, lose some fatigue and it looks like they are going to come out swinging at uh, the remnants of Jackson's core over there. It's a disaster. Uh, but anyways, that's going to do it for this turn right here. Turn nine and the victory points are as such. Uh, it, it's 42 victory points for the Rebs, but none of that matters. If Jackson's core gets annihilated, that's going to be the end of it. So, all right, I'm John. I'm out. We'll see you guys in turn 10. All right, bye-bye.